So we have Vice Company, and guess what? That reminds me of an old movie called Miami Vice. So we're going to pretend we're down in South Beach in Miami practicing this problem, right? At least give a great feeling as we go through this topic. Now, we have some information about a product that Vice is going to be launching uh, during this year, right? Some selling price per unit info, some variable costs, total fixed cost per month for this product, as well as the target pre-tax profit per month for this product. Now, ultimately, we need to figure out how many units above the break-even level must Vice sell to achieve the target profit per month. So we're kind of combining break-even points in units as well as uh, target profit in units that needed to be sold. Now, there's a shortcut we could take, but I'm going to go through and show you three steps so that we can calculate the break-even point in units, the total units needed to earn a target profit, as well as the incremental units above break-even, which is ultimately what the question is asking for. So for step one, to calculate the break-even point in units, well, our formula is simple, right? It's just total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit. And the contribution margin per unit uh, for this product, well, if the selling price is $32, the variable costs are $12, that means our contribution margin per unit is $20. So if we take total fixed costs divide that of 800 divided by $20 per unit, that means they need to sell 40 units to break even, right? to cover those fixed costs. But that's uh, not what we're being asked, so we have to keep moving forward. Now, when it comes to how many units needed to be sold to achieve a target profit, well, we remember there's two steps. Now, step one focused on converting a after-tax profit to a pre-tax profit. We don't need to worry about that here. So all we need to do really is step two, which is where we take the total fixed costs, we add the pre-tax profit that's desired, Right, so that's 4,800, and then divide by the contribution margin per unit, which is $20. That means in order to earn a pre-tax profit of $4,000 per month, they would have to sell 240 units. But again, that's not where we're going to stop, right? Because we need to understand the incremental amount above break-even. So what we could have done is just taken the desired pre-tax profit per month of 4,000 divided by contribution margin per unit of $20. And that would tell us that the incremental amounts needed to earn that profit above break even would be 200 units. But we can also just take the difference, which I'm showing in step three, between the units for that target profit of 240, subtract the break even point in units of 40. And that means the incremental units that need to be sold are going to be 200 units, right? So vice company needs to sell 200 incremental units above break even to earn that target pre-tax profit per month of $4,000.